In this video, we are going to talk about how to stay calm and collected when you are taking calls. Hey there, Ninja! Welcome back to my channel. This is Rhea once again. You are still watching Call Center Ninja. And if you are just new here on this channel, I share real stories and tips to help you begin, enjoy, and survive your call center lifestyle. So please consider subscribing. Just click the red subscribe button down below. And if you have already subscribed, then thank you so much. Just a little bit of backstory. This is not a throwback video. I really cut my hair recently. So if you have been following my channel ever since, then you knew that I started with short hair and I just recently cut my hair because it's almost the end of the year. And also, I have been sick the past few days and this is the only time that I get to make videos and sit down videos like this again if you've noticed the past few days or past few weeks i have been doing voice over videos because i really was too sick to be in front of the camera but thank you so much for watching those videos now today we are going to talk about how to stay calm during a call or when you are taking calls these are actually all very, very simple tips that most of you would usually overlook because you keep on overthinking. And when you start taking calls, you just get nervous even before you say something to the customer, even before you get to deliver your opening spiel. So my very first tip, which is very easy and quite common sense, is to come to work early and come to work prepared or ready. I always say this, if you are not ready when you go to work and you start taking calls, you will always feel nervous, you will always feel like you're not ready. Whereas if you compare it to when you come to work at least 30 minutes or 15 minutes before your shift, you have prepared everything such as your tools, if you want to stay relaxed during your calls, you have to make sure that you start the day right. If there's anything that you need to update on your scripting, on your spiels, then do so before your shift so that when you take the first call, you are ready. That's very, very effective. Tip number two is to expect the unexpected. Be open for anything that can happen. I know that when you start taking calls, you also already have preconceived notions in your head that this is what's going to happen in the call. I'm scared because I might make a mistake. I'm scared because I might get an irate customer. Just release all those negative emotions and tell yourself that yes, anything can happen and I will be ready for whatever can happen during the call or during the entire duration of my shift. The moment that you start opening your mind to whatever can happen during the call or the shift, then you will start to relax and you will start to just take each call one at a time. I know that it's not going to be easy, but for sure, whatever happens, that call will just end anyway. So take it one step at a time. Tip number three, this is something that I also personally do, stop overthinking. I always think that when I take calls and the customer comes screaming or yelling at me, I always think that that customer will not be able to strangle me or will not be able to touch me or do anything to me physically because he or she cannot see me, he's so far away, he's out there on the other side of the world, and I am here sitting at the comfort of my office or my cubicle. So I just have to think that way, that whatever happens, the customer can't do anything to me, and I just have to do my job the best way I can. So stop overthinking, just do your best, and just follow your procedures, and everything should be good. Tip number four, when in doubt, ask. Do not be afraid to ask questions. Ask your team lead, your supervisor, your manager, or your trainer. Because when you get too nervous, for sure you don't know exactly what to do. And if that happens, then of course you ask 
a question. You ask if it's something that you do not know. That's the only way for you to find or know the answer. If your supervisor or team leader is not around, then go ahead and look it up on your knowledge base or your job aid. Look for the answer. Tell the customer that you need some time to research the answer and that you just need to make sure you're giving the right answer to him or her. For sure, the customer will understand and will wait for you to get the right answer. It's okay. There are always unique situations wherein you do not know exactly what to do. There, there are also situations that you are very familiar of. Like you already know what to do with those situations because you've experienced those types of calls previously. But in any case that you are encountering a unique situation, it's okay. You don't have to know everything because it's very impossible that you will know everything. Take some time to breathe as well so that you can compose yourself, compose your scripting, and compose what you are going to tell the customer. And tip number five is bring something that will help you relax. That is if it is allowed. For example, you can bring a stress ball. You can hold that stress ball while you are taking calls. If it's allowed, you can bring your favorite um, small teddy bear or stuffed toy and you can put it on your station if that is something that will keep you warm and calm and composed during the call. Or bring something that helps you remember a calm situation so that when you look at it and when you are taking calls, you will be reminded that I need to relax and I need to be calm and then go on with your call. In most call centers, it's also okay to stand just so you can stretch your tensed muscles while you are taking calls. It also helps for you to be able to breathe and stop being too nervous when you are taking a call. So if you can do that, then go ahead and do so. And that's about it for today. I hope you've learned something from this video. I know that it is not easy to take your first few calls, but again, once you get used to those calls, uh, eventually you will be more confident and you will be able to stay calm during your calls. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet, and don't forget I have videos every Wednesdays and Fridays. See you again next time. Take care and bye-bye.